Hey, 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 everybody. My name's Alex Andrew. And I'm Dr. Shasta. And we're back with your healthy living on a wonderful June day. It's nice and beautiful yeah, out here in super sunny warm. California. It's finally summer. San Jose. I love it. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my lovely host here, Dr. Shasta, is a very accomplished, like, second generation or third generation. I don't know what it is. Doctor uh, of Acupuncture. Doctor of Acupuncture. Yes. Yes. And um, it's been really cool having her here as a co-host because she's so into the Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. uh, which, of course, is part of what acupuncture is, it, yeah. it, it, part of that field, right? Yeah, acupuncture I mean, is a part of Chinese medicine. Right. Um, I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. And oriental medicine, the same thing as Chinese medicine, is made up of five components. Um, acupuncture is one of them. Herbs is another one. Nutrition is another one. Exercise and massage. So that's so it's so it's actually the five oldest natural uh, medicines make up Chinese or Oriental medicine, and we are primary care providers in the state of California. We actually have the highest education and training in America here in California, and we um, we can treat uh, Western ailments um, using the same codes, um, but we do diagnose in a, uh, using chi traditional Chinese medicine. You know, and this here's the thing that I find. And, and I never really thought about it until, you know, we kind of met. We started talking about this. There's 5,000 years of testing and history and using this stuff on people. Yeah, and, and over a billion people use this around the world. It is the oldest medicines. The, what did, um, the legends say that the medicine started 10,000 years ago in Tibet and then branched off to Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. And Ayurved Tibet, Ayurvedic really? medicine is in uh, India. And they speak some of the same languages as, as we do, that we look at the body like it's a part of nature, that we have the elements of nature in our body, wood, fire, metal, earth, and water. And in Ayurvedic medicine, they have vata, pitta, kapha, air, fire, water. And some of those are made up of two, two um, elements. So these older medicines look at the body almost like a gardener would look at a plant. There may be a tall, thin a body, a body type that, that might get brittle and dry and be more anxious and needs more oil and moistening product, foods and, and supplements. And then there might be somebody who's big and kind of sluggish and, 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 and sweats a lot and they have too much water and we need to, we need to dry, dry them out. So we look at the body just like we would a part of nature and we use parts of nature to help heal the body naturally. Now, it's, it's so you were saying India... Um, Tibet, China, uh, they're all, and of course this is me as, as the ignorant person about what goes on over there, but a lot of that seems to be more along the line of, of, of kind of a Taoist Buddhist belief. Yeah, but the, Taoism the is, is uh, Chinese Taoism. medicine did come out of Taoism, oh, the okay. whole yin and yang symbol, right. where the yin, which is the dark half of that circle with a little white spot, that's yin always has a little bit of yang. The white represents mm -hmm. uh, yang, and the white side is yang with a little bit of yin. In other words, we always we all have a little bit of each other. Um, it's a man is more yang, a female is more yin, and and ha being in balance and harmony with your body type, where you live, your environment, your seasons. That's what they believe creates health. And I think one of the things that, you know, when I wrote my book years ago, one of the things that I always thought was cool, and of course I sound more like kind of Texas guy because I say yin and yang, but it's yang, right? I think you can say it either way. You can? It's fine. Well, you've always said it that way and I always kind of felt like a <laughs> Texas draw, but it's the complete circle. So, mm -hmm. you know, we need. I think we need a, a, a balance. Right. It's really, and that's kind of what Chinese medicine is yeah, about, right? Is. Really balancing things out, not having too much, like you said, too much water, not too being too dry, dry, too much inflammation. Right. Yeah. Too much male, too much female. Exactly. And, and in this fast paced, hard driven society that we're in, which is a yang characteristic, the going, 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 right, right. being up long, not sleeping a lot, um, spicy, greasy foods, uh, a lot of meat is more yang. Um, what a lot of what's going on in America is 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 the yin is becoming depleted, and the yin is the is the quiet, dark, intuitive, and more feminine side right. to both that we all have in us, and and that's part of what I believe is part of the epidemic problem with um, with fertility in our country. Uh, one in five couples are struggling with infertility, and I do specialize in that, and it's a great passion of mine. And what I mainly do is help people. Um, calm down, 
and and uh, restore their yin. One of my my favorite little success stories. Um, my friend Monica oh, it's signed and everything. Yeah, yeah I like that. That's she cool. was forty two and she had her little baby naturally after having struggled with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is an endocrine hormone imbalance. And um, we helped her lose weight. We helped her get in balance and be able to conceive naturally. I do believe um, fertility is natural, and the more our body is in balance, the more chance we will have to right. conceive, right. as well as keep the babies, not have miscarriages. So. That is like one of my number one passions is helping couples have babies. But I also work with weight loss a lot. Um, I did get my doctorate specialty in weight loss and fertility. So um, I've had people lose up to 100 pounds. Um, I had someone recently uh, lose 35 pounds in seven weeks. We're wow. working towards fertility. I, I do it a lot with the amazing healing power of kitchari, which is an amazing, amazing food from India. And my wife Gretchen swears by it, and, by the way. And his wife uses it all the time. And you can customize it for your body type using different foods, uh, as we're talking about with those elements, to figure out what you need for you. This is a great book. You can get it off of Amazon. I also encourage the chi yoga videos that people can do for common And elements. my wife does those too, by and the way. S- for common ailments so that you can do acupressure yoga and qigong on yourself to help heal yourself at home if you can't get into the office. So Shasta, what there's a functional and integrative medicine. Is there any difference or what is what is that all about? Well, um functional medicine includes um doing um actual testing with the body uh while having supplements in your mouth to see let's say Oh, like the, a strength thing. Uh it's, it can no, be that, no. or like what I do is I actually use blood pressure cuff to check the the tonacity or the pressure that your body can take without the calcium, and then how much it can take with the calcium to see if your body actually needs that. And um, same with blood pressure, checking the adrenal functions through uh, supine blood pressure readings and standing blood pressure readings. It, so functional means seeing how your body is functioning while using exam. We also use blood tests, saliva tests, stool tests. Um, so, so it's a much a lot more. Of Western medicine there's involved. a lot of Western okay. medicine. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And we, as doctors of acupuncture, do take a lot of Western medicine to become uh, primary care providers in California. A lot more than you would think. Right. So we we are you know we do get a lot of training in that. And functional nutrition is uh, using nutrition in a functional way where we actually take a blood test or saliva test before we give the nutrition uh, supplements and we pre- prescribe a, a nutrition protocol and after. And then we actually see if it worked. So, so it, it's it's really progressive. So it's not quackery like they it's used to say. You guys have a connection to what the Western medicine is all about. We do. You just kind of go to that extra level. That's why I call it 3D. Yeah. Right? You take and that extra level. We are primary care providers, so we can bill insurance as a primary physician uh, in California. So people can come to us, and we can um, we can you know fill out their their diagnosed diagnostic codes and and charge them with the um, CPT codes, and and people can get reimbursed by their insurance, et cetera. Huh. And I think the reason why is because we actually help keep people well, and we actually help reverse things that that they weren't able to get help with anywhere else. And, sure. and that's what makes integrative medicine. And it, okay. The combination of Western medicine and Oriental or Chinese medicine is ideal. Right. And I think the insurance companies have caught on to this. Yeah. I mean, you know, how do you make money in an insurance company? Well, you charge premiums, but you also don't have to pay out, you know, you, you don't want to pay out so much. We help save them money. Yes. I mean, I just had a guy in uh, last week who had a very bad injury on his uh, forearm, for his wrist here, and nothing was fixing it. And I did needles one time. And the pain is 80% gone. There was nothing else he could find to do that for for him. And, I mean, that's going to save a lot of money down the road. Right. And it's just because we unblocked the scar tissue, we got the blood to flow, and we got the regular motion of the body back. Well, thank God the insurance companies, you guys out there, have figured this out. Because, you know what? Thank God. Health is so important. Health I mean, is our wealth. You know, we're, we're in the wealth business, and yeah. it's the family, health, and wealth. I mean, yeah. those are the three, you know— building blocks of what a happy life is about. It is. And we have to thank Governor Jerry Brown for having uh, legalized acupuncture in the 1970s and recently made it one of the top 10 healthcare necessities for Californians. So um, 
I'm very grateful. I've been doing this for, gosh, 25 years now. Yeah. I started my studies actually when I was 18, so it's been about 31 years. I've treated about 60,000 different patients' visits, and, um, and I'm even more excited now than I ever was. We're actually going to be right back with one of your clients. Yes. Talking to it, how great it works great. You're watching Your Healthy Living. If somebody wanted to call and get an appointment at your office, it would be uh, 408 615 1995. And my website is wayofwellness.com. And um, I have a lot of videos out there that people can use to help heal themselves, like chi yoga videos. Um, and written the book, The Amazing Healing Power of Kitchery, that people could use to eat in the uh, medicinal it's, food it's and, with the seasons. It's actually really good, by it's, the way. We use you. it in tacos. We had it in a spaghetti thing yeah. with some kale and uh, sweet potato greens the other night. And it's it is. really it's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I tell you what, I feel healthier just from eating. Well, Gretchen was eating it every day. Yeah, um, which is are great. Are you supposed to? Yes, you are. When you are dealing with a major immune issue, people eat it every day and they reverse a lot of ailments and diseases it's really powerful what's your phone number again 408-615-1995 well thanks you've been watching your healthy living on the kiys video web radio network the kindness in your soul network don't forget to check out our website at kiysradio.com or check us out on facebook like us give us a few stars say hello we love you all take care 